Many families still struggle to recover from the devastation of Hurricane Ian. Disaster response groups across the country are calling on volunteers to join that recovery. News 12 Samantha Cheney sat down with a Stanford retiree who is giving back tonight. When Frank Fumega retired from a 35 year career last year, he said he always knew his work was never done. So I try to keep myself involved in things that help the community and help people. The former EMT, fireman, and railroad safety officer says helping others is his purpose. So when Team Rubicon Disaster Response began calling on volunteers to help recover from the destruction of Hurricane Ian, I said, Now's the time. I saw the disaster and, and I was like, Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> ready to go. According to Team Rubicon, nearly 100 veterans, first responders, and medical professionals have already been sent to Florida to muck out homes, clear storm debris, and remove fallen trees. And starting tomorrow, Fumega will be one of them. I feel the need to help people. I always have. Um, like I said, being involved firing EMS, I was always there as a first responder. Now I'm actually going as a backup. Before we're rushing in, when the emergency happens, now we're going after the emergency to help others in need. And at 63 years old, he says he doesn't plan to stop giving that help anytime soon. I actually volunteered for another shift in a month. So if all goes well, then I'll uh, go back down. Fumega is scheduled to be on a flight tomorrow at 6.30 a.m., where he'll be heading to Arcadia, Florida for the next seven days. In Stamford, Samantha Cheney, News 12, Connecticut.